was shocked. I says, oh no, East Palestine all over again. Warner Lang lives just two blocks away from the train tracks. He walked down Thursday to look at the progress of the repairs. It could have been a lot worse. He says the images of the toxic train derailment in East Palestine have him worried every time a train rolls by. It bothers me every time. Before I thought it was kind of uh, nostalgic, interesting, but now it is a worry. It is a concern. Every time I hear the horn, I worry. As part of that continued cleanup effort, the three rail cars involved in this derailment have been moved away from the site here. A spokesperson for CSX says that they have been moved to their rail yard in Queensgate. Lachlan Fire Chief Doug Wiemeyer says in the three cars, only one lost its load, the car carrying plastic pellets. Another car was empty but was previously hauling liquefied petroleum gas. The third was carrying 175,000 pounds of the chemical isoprene. If that leaks, if that meets an ignition point, it is pretty flammable uh, and has the tendency to hover to the ground as well if it would have been if it would have been leaked. That concern led to a shelter in place order for anyone within 500 feet of the derailment. Wiemeyer says multiple departments responded along with the Cincinnati Hazmat team. It's made up of specially trained firefighters from across the region. We share resources, we have you know, common policies, common practices, and train together. Wiemeyer says that constant training done with neighboring departments is key in situations like this. Really what we're training on would be you know, fire response type things. Those same, those same lessons and the same lessons learned come into play when it's hazardous materials. He says railroads will sometimes give them reports of what's in the cars. Lachlan firefighters also sit along the tracks recording the markers on the cars that detail what's inside. We will build training based upon that and make sure we have an understanding of the chemicals. Everything we do every day builds on these responses. In Lachlan, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.